Hi, I'm Kit Bowen, aka The Movie Kit, and I'm creating a new segment that I'm calling The Movie Kit Happy Hour. It's not really going to be an hour, it's going to be more like three minutes, but it's a, a weekly segment that I'm going to be reviewing movies with drinking. Yay! This week, Logan! Which actually has to be whiskey. I mean, is there any other drink possible than whiskey? Cheers. Good old Logan. If I had a cigar, that would be even better, but I don't smoke cigars, so. Mm. Great. Anyway, Logan. It starts Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, and newcomer Daphne King. Uh, and it's the third Wolverine movie, but really, it almost feels like it's the first Wolverine movie because it is so grounded and so real this time around that I can't... The R-rated... Um, Set, the R-rated portion of it makes it even more real to watch. Uh, Logan is, um, it's far, it's like in the near future, and Logan is, is not the same as he used to be. He's actually, uh, you know, ill, uh, and he, he can't heal the way he used to, and so it's, he's, he's downtrodden, and he's, you know, he's trying to make some money so that he and Professor X, who is also in some bad shape, can go off and live sort of a happier life on a boat. Um, and, and just to get away from it all. There's hints of things that have happened with the X-Men. Um, you don't know exactly what has happened, but it, it, something bad has happened, and now they're sort of on the outs. Um, suddenly, however, they are uh, accosted by a group of, of men who are looking for this little girl, um, played by Keen. Um, and when she enters into the story, it becomes a whole different dynamic. And they end up going on the road, and on the run, basically, to try to figure out who this little girl is and why she needs to get where she needs to get. I mean, I'm not going to give too much away about what happens, but uh, it is definitely the best X-Men movie, movie I've ever seen. Um, it's, like I said, besides the growlness of it, there's still a lot of great action sequences. It's directed by James Gunn. No, it's not. It's not directed by James Gunn. <laughs> it's directed by James Mangold. Uh, and it, it uh, you know, there's, there's just some, there's so many great elements to it. The, the end of it kind of starts to get a little wobbly uh, as far as what's happening and uh, why this, you know, little girl has come from sort of this, you know, nefarious uh, scientific lab and whatnot and so you you get a little mixed up you get a little muddled in there towards the end but the fact that that Jackman and Stewart get to play these characters that they've been playing for so long uh, in this way where they could really just dig down deep and you know and swear and of course you know of course Logan's the best swearer of them all um, and and Stewart he's so he's so fragile as Professor X in this that that it just it hurts your heart and this little girl Keen she is amazing <laughs> and all of the action sequences well a lot of them are include her and she is just kick ass um she's kind of a little bit like wolverine i mean she has some of the similar uh qualities so she is a mutant of some kind but again i don't want to go go too deep into it as far as why she's who she is but the whole dynamic between the sort of a grandfather father and daughter it's just it's it is a tremendous movie and this whole trend of doing R-rated um, superhero movies is is really the way to go. Fox, 20th Century Fox, totally has it down because this is the way to go. They had Deadpool, which was raunchy and funny R-rated, and this one's sad and gritty R-rated, but they both work tremendously. So please go see Logan. You will not be disappointed, uh, especially if you're a fan of the X-Men and Wolverine, who, of course, how can you not love Wolverine? Now, Hugh Jackman says he's not going to play this character again, that this was his song song, and if it is, good job, Hugh. You came out You came out on top. So cheers to you, my friend. Like I said, if I had a cigar, but I don't. Mm. I'm starting to like whiskey, and I don't really like whiskey. <laughs> so yay! <laughs> So join me next week when we'll be interviewing another one, a new movie uh, with a new drink. Thank you.